Hello everyone. Hey everybody. And welcome to another episode of Massey Art, Art Studios. Studios. I'm Lee. I'm Jeremy. And um, this week we had a very special guest. We did. We did. Yes. Um, one of our Patreons, in fact, our one and only diamond Patreon, Sparkles. Sparkles. And her husband Tom were in town. Yeah. And we got the opportunity to meet up with these guys. And um, it was a lot of fun. It was so much fun. It was so much fun. And we even got to take Sparkles into the studio and do a little painting. Yeah. And she got her hands on Torchy. Have a look at this. <laughs> <laughs> you got it. Yeah, that is heavy as it looks. No. So much fun. Yeah, it was. So it much really fun. was awesome. So thank you, Sparkles and Tom, for for coming meeting with us. It was awesome to meet you guys. Such lovely, lovely people. Yes. All right, back to today's episode. Um, what are you doing, sir? I'm doing a right ring. What a surprise. <laughs> but I know why, because you've picked some really awesome colours, yes. which, which I think will lend themselves really well in a rect ring. Oh, thank you. Um, I'm going to do a split cup ring pour into a dustpan. That sounds like a whole triple backflip, double sow cow. Well, let's see if I can get a 10, a 10 out of 10 on the disc mount. <laughs> we will see. Um, again, just because of these colours, I'm going to play around with a really fun base coat that I think we should use. Oh, nice. Okay. Mm. Yeah. All right. I'm excited for this one. All right. All right, people. Well, listen, without further ado, let me just tell you to please like and subscribe. We've got our online auction. Yes. This coming Sunday. Yep. Starts at 4 o'clock Pacific, 6 o'clock Central, 7 o'clock Eastern. And every single piece that we're auctioning, all 47 of them, ranging from 11, 14, cam uh, 11 by 14 canvases all the way up to 22 by 28 canvases, yeah. are all going to start at just $1. So um, come and see us. Come and see if you like a piece. The preview video is up already. Um, hopefully we'll see you there. It's going to be a lot of fun. It is going to be a lot of fun. All right. Less waffle, more painting. Let's get to the table. Let's get to the table. Let's do it. Hey guys, it is Jeremy here, and I am super excited about. Well, this there's a surprise. <laughs> Jeremy's excited about an episode. So um, <laughs> I'm just really in love with these colors that we chose. Um, I'm in a, such a good mood today. Oh, I love that. Yes. Are you excited yes. to be painting? I am excited to be painting. I'm ready to get to the. I'm ready to get to the painting table and uh, get this started. Well, you know what? You're already at the painting table. Right? So so you're already halfway there. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Thanks for that. You're welcome. And so let me introduce my colors that we're using today. Which you picked every single one of them. Yes. And I'm did. excited about it. I did pick these. So we got dioxazine purple. This is a Master's Touch Master's thick Touch. body acrylic. We have Payne's Gray by Goldens. Delicious. We have this amazing manganese blue hue by Goldens. Very bright, beautiful oh my gosh, blue. Beautiful. Um, we have the iridescent white by Masters Touch. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of Arteza pearl white in there as well for this one. Got it, got it, got it. And we have Bossy Teal. It's not actually named Bossy Teal, but it's Teal. It is Teal. <laughs> by Goldens. And then, did I already say dioxazine purple? You did. Oh, okay. Dioxazine purple. <laughs> we used the Master's Touch because we'd run out yeah, of the golden. We ran out instead. of the golden. So. The only one you haven't talked oh, about yeah. is this one. Yeah, you know what? Um, I can't find the the thing for it, but this one is the uh, Glacier bl uh, Pearl Blue by Arteza. Pearl Glacier Blue. Pearl Glacier Blue. There we go. Stunning color. Stunning color. Now, one thing I forgot to ask you to mention is this. Oh yeah. Um, loving this stuff, you guys. This mix is incredible. It is. Every single one of these pots is actually mixed with mix today. Yes. There's no flow troll, there's no gloss medium, it is yes. all mix. And on the top of that tub there, sir, you will see the email address. Yes. Krista 8947, no, 74. Krista 8974 at gmail.com. That is where you get this miracle pouring medium. Mm. Krista8974 at gmail.com. That's it. Thank you, oh. sir. Oh, is that going to be in the description box? Absolutely. Perfect. And I'll actually probably put it right down here at the bottom of the screen somewhere. <laughs> okay. I just never know which side it's on. <laughs> All right. So why don't I get to 
layering my cup. And what are you doing? Oh, I'm so excited that I'm just like, I, I have to do a rect ring, you guys, with okay. these colors. Stunning. I just really do. I think that they'll be gorgeous in a rect ring. So It depends on how you layer that cup. It does. It's all about the layering on this Don't one. Me out. I'm going to stress you out. <laughs> <laughs> so I have my canvas. It is an 18 by 18 canvas. It is taped on the back and it is pinned. Um, and uh, I am ready to go. How much paint do you need on that 18 by 18 inch canvas? Have you calculated? Well, to calculate, you do 18 times 18 mm -hmm. divided by 28. 11.57. And this is a 20 ounce cup. It is. So I need about this much in it. Okay. Yeah. We always like a little more just I like just a little case. bit more though usually so. But all right. Hmm. Thinking about how you lay in this one. Yeah. A little bit. I'm going to go in with this first. That's a little surprising to me. Really? Yeah, knowing that, that what you put in there is going to be the last thing out. But I know yeah. you like that really light I do. Center. center. I do yeah. like the really light so center. So I, I get it. it but makes, yeah. I'm going in with the Payne's Gray next. It is the Payne's Gray. So a little few words about Mix while Jeremy pours these paints in his yes. cup. Um, it is a beautiful thick consistency pouring medium hopefully you can see just how thick and beautiful these paints are coming out of this pot this is mixed probably five four five to one so there's just two ounces of paint and then there's approximately eight to nine ounces of mix in each of these pots no gloss medium no Liquitex gloss medium, no flow troll in here at all. It is literally just the mix. The mix. And it gives you this beautiful thick consistency paint, which as you'll does. see with like the pearl white and the gold, even paints that normally are thinner when you mix them with flow troll, these are just equally as thick. So it's really, really, really wonderful. And um, it offers this really amazing translucence when you pour this one out of the cup. And I can't tell you how shiny it is when it dries. Yeah. So we have not been asked to say these things. We say these things because they're true. Um, it took us a while to get into mix because we really wanted to get used to gloss medium and flow troll together. But now we feel like we've conquered that. So we ordered our first bottles of mix, which we paid for uh, kind of just a week or two ago. And, and I gotta say, we really love it. It's a really, really wonderful pouring medium. I'm getting paint everywhere. You know how I love to get paint all over myself. Right. <laughs> The stunning cup so far. Why, thank you. You've got a lot of that glacier blue in there. There's also a lot of gold in there. I know. That's Is that intentional? Like, you know what? I'm going to rethink that and I'm going to put a little bit of white here. I don't see a lot of the dioxazine purple in there. There is. Yeah. Yeah, I'm putting that next. Okay. Well, actually, I'm putting the teal next. And then. Uh, it's funny you didn't even want that teal in there. I know, but I'm putting a, just a touch of it. Okay. Literally a touch, like that much. Got it. Yeah. Just a touch. And then I'm going to go in with the dioxazine purple. Okay. Look how thick that is. It's I so know. good. All these paints have, we've tried to get all of these to the same consistency because that is important. So, for example, anything that's mixed with goldens, definitely had to add a little bit of water to it. Yeah. And the Master's Touch one, we didn't. Um, the Electric Blue, we didn't. But the other ones definitely were thinned down to that consistency. And then I'm going to do, I'm loving this, this blue though. Mm -hmm. I see that. There's a lot of it. But I think that's enough paint right there, don't you think? Or should I go a little I'd bit I'd go more? a little bit more just in case. Okay. I'm going to put the, the dark theme purple. Oh wait, no, I'm going to put the paint gray. 
All right, guys, I got my layered cup here and I'm gonna get right into it to, to ring in this pour. It looks like a stunning cup. I hope so. Got a little mm -hmm. tiny squiggly there, but mm -hmm. okay. I'm really interested to see how this is gonna come out. I'm loving the colors in the ring. Yes. Now it's time for my flow extender. It's wrecking time. It is wrecking time. Huh. I don't know about that part right there. We will find out as you stretch this bad boy out. All right. All right, guys. So you know what time it is. What time is it, sir? Tilting time. It's tilting time. Okay guys, so this is not what I had in mind. So I'm not happy with this. I'm going to mix another cup off the off camera real quick and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna re-pour this. Um, you know what? You keep pouring until you're soaring, as Angie says. As Angie says, yes. exactly, go for it. Okay guys, I got my new layered cup here. Excited about this one. Let's see what happens. Okay. All right. I'm liking, I'm liking this. Now, because you've got so much paint left on this canvas from the previous pour, yes. you don't need to add a flow extender this no, time around. No, no flow extender. Okay. All right. Yeah. So it's really now, it's just what time is it? Tilting time. Let's tilt this one out. Tilting time, take two. Tilting time, take two.
Okay guys, much better. I'm seeing a lot more definition in the lines. I'm loving this whole purple right here that's going on. The uh, dioxazine purple. I'm loving this blue that cuts through it. That's that manganese. I know. The gold has made like this bronzy color um, through here, which is really interesting to me that it did that. Yeah, I'm not sure why. I, I know. I'm not sure why it's, either. It's got, to, it's got to be the mix ratio. It has, yeah. has to be. So, but anyway, but I, I, I'm actually liking this. I like it better than the last one, definitely. Um, it's a little dark for just, my taste usually. Just like my soul. <laughs> it's a, <laughs> you're so crazy. <laughs> it's, it's a little dark for my taste usually because you know I like bright. Anyway, I like it. Good. That's all that counts. It is. So I Should kept we, pouring until I was sore in there. You, you did. Should we clean up your edges and take them in for a close up? Absolutely. Let's do it. Ladles and jelly spoons, welcome to my pour. Um, won't take you long to figure out what I'm doing, and that is a split cup ring pour into a dustpan on the canvas with some negative space. Wow. That is gonna be my plan. Now this is the big, what is I think the 32 ounce split cup. So this is twice the size that I really do need, but I'm gonna definitely just fill this one halfway up. I just really wanted the size of this cup because the other two are a little too small. So um, I'm going to only fill this one halfway. That is my intention. Hold me to it, people, because that's exactly what I'm gonna try and do. Now, before I get to that, I am going to flood my canvas with my base coat. And it is this wonderful color that we mixed ourselves. Now, in here, there's a bit of pearl white, there is some titanium white, and then there's also some of the teal but I wanted it a lighter shade of teal rather than that darker shade. And I am gonna be using negative space or leaving negative space on this canvas. So first things first, I'm gonna flood maybe like half of this canvas off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, um, and then we're gonna to get to pouring into the split cup. All right, so that is some coat, base coat down on this canvas, and I've got some left over in my pot, just in case I wanna use it to help me kind of manipulate the composition. Next, let's get to layering this wonderful, huge split cup by Mixed Media Girl. Now, if you wanna get your hands on this cup or any other of the sizes, and she does two, three, and four chamber split cups, just go to www.mixedmediagirl.com. You'll be able to get them all right there. All right, Jeremy. Now, I know you can't see in this cup as I layer it, but you are gonna be able to see the colors as I pour them in. Are you ready? I am ready, sir. All right, then let's do this. Um, I'm gonna start with the lighter shade of blue, that's this manganese on one side. I love that manganese blue. And on the other side, I'm gonna go with the same amount of Payne's Gray. So we've got that light and dark shade. And then in the Payne's Gray, I'm gonna put a little bit of gold. And on the blue side, I'm gonna put some of this electric, oh no, it's glacier, glacier blue. Okay, so that's my separation layers. Now I'm gonna go in with the dioxazine. Oh crap. <laughs> wow, pouring this everywhere. Luckily I didn't get it down the other side. And then on this side, I'm gonna put some of the teal. Definitely a little more heavy handed with the teal than you were. 
Okay. White next to the purple. Now I know this will make it go a lighter shade, but this white is thick and the purple is thick, so hopefully it won't mingle quite so much. And then I'm gonna put the blue electric on this side. Okay, not quite so much, it was just separation layers. Okay, and then I'm gonna go back in. So this side I'm gonna put the blue that I put on the other side first. And then on this side, I'm gonna put the Payne's Gray. There we go. All right, so it's somewhat higher than halfway, but you know, it's not that much higher. But that is my layered cup. Now, Jeremy, yes. I'm gonna ring pour into this dustpan for you. And I'm gonna put some of the white in the pan, just so I've got something to ring into. I'm going to pour this on the lip of the pan too because that's rubber so I just want to make sure that this paint comes off and slides off nice and easy. All right so I'm going to ring pour. Are you ready? I am ready. Let's do this. Great. Okay. Now let's get this on the canvas. I'm going to turn this one around just because I find it easier to pour this way. All right. So there's my ring. It rung from the split cup into the dustpan. Let's get this one onto the canvas. Now I'm going to be tilting off all that bottom edge, but I just wanted to use every drop of paint that was on that pan. All right. This is gorgeous. Well, thank you, baby. Oh, There's some bits that I don't love. Um, I'm not too keen on this part over here. It's got a little too light. Um, but we're gonna tilt this one out now and see what happens anyway. Sure. So first off, I'm gonna bring the composition back this way so that I can anchor the parts of the pan that I really like over the back of the canvas. And then we're gonna stretch it out this way, left and right, side to side. All right, people, it is in fact, tilting time. Tilting time. Let's do this.
Peoples. That's me done. Wow. I could sit and fuss and play and stretch and bend and all sorts of these dustpan pours for days, but it's, it's a definitely a lesson for me in learning when to stop. Um, I like the integrity of the lines that I've got. The mix is definitely giving some of these colours some really beautiful transparency. Um, I, I really love it and I love the composition with these like little rings that, that happened when I tilted out, poured yeah. it out from the dustpan. Yeah. So, there we have it folks. I've torched it, I'm gonna clean up my edges and then we're gonna take you guys in for a close up. I hope you love it too. Thank you guys. So there you have it, folks. There you have it. There you have it. So I've never seen you, I'm not going to use the word struggle, but be challenged by challenged. a set of colours so much as this one. But yeah, you picked them all. I know. Um, but what happened? I, you know what? Uh, definitely during that first pour, like, it just didn't, for me, it just didn't go well. Like, right. I just didn't like the composition. Right. It just it just kind of irritated me. Okay. And so uh, I just decided to just flip another cup, like a whole another cup, right. like pour that second that second ring pour, and uh, and I really liked that outcome. Like, right. I liked the lines in it, like the purple in it. Yeah. Lost a little bit of the other color still, but it still turned out really a beautiful piece. Uh, let me offer my observations if yes. I may, because it was easy for me to offer observations because I didn't do it. Um, so your first cup, you layered f 
heavy on the pearls. Yes. And you were putting pearls next to pearls. Yes. And so what that created was a real light and somewhat muddy composition. Yes. Because there was no strong colours. You weren't using the pearls as a uh, transition to another colour. Exactly. You were using them as like really thick solid lines yeah. and, and they just didn't work that way. No, they didn't. And then I think with that and then your loop-de-loop, -loop, the loop-de-loop -loop just wrecked it too much and that's what created that, yeah. that kind of mess. So you corrected that in the yeah. second cup. I did. And you used the pearls as an isolation layer rather than as like a solid colour and then that's Everything why you got... Saying. Well, you know. <laughs> Again, I just was able to like stand back and kind of watch, I guess, yes. rather than do it. So yes. it all made sense to me. Yes. But I really love that second pour. I do too, actually. Yeah, I love the purple in it. Like, yeah, yeah, it just came out great. I loved my dustpan mainly because I really loved that minty kind of green yeah. that we created as that that base coat color. And yours came out. Stunning, well, absolutely you. stunning. I used a little bit of the base coat color to help me kind of manipulate the composition, which yeah. I really enjoy doing. Um, I loved those kind of two little, three little holes that we got mm. from where the dustpan didn't kind of, you know, where it flowed, yeah. flowed, how it flowed onto the canvas. English is hard. Um, <laughs> and yeah, I really loved it. It was it was so much fun. It was bright and it kind of almost, it looked very retro to yeah. me, almost like 80s, 90s. I want to hang that on my wall and put a cassette in my cassette tape and wear leggings and roller skates and, you know, dance to fame or whatever. Not that you, I've you done. You got about 80s, 90s, a little bit of 70s in there maybe. I've not done any of those things ever at once in my life, but yeah, uh -huh. that painting made me want to do them. Um, so yeah, it was a lot of fun. Really enjoyed it. <laughs> Um, I hope you will like them too. Please let us know. Please comment, let us know, shout out. It's always a lot of fun. We're still trying to get to 10,000 as quickly as yeah. we can. I don't think we'll do it before our one year anniversary, which we'll is see. only a week's time, but we'll see. Um, you know, we're here forever, so you're not getting rid of us just yet. Yes, exactly. Please don't forget about the auction, August the 8th. Preview video is up, go check it out. And if you haven't already, like and subscribe would be an awful lot of fun for us. And we will see you here on Sunday for a very special episode. Exactly. It is the first of our planetary series with the lovely, talented, beautiful Mina Villegas. Mina Villegas. We'll tell you a little bit more about that on Sunday. Yes. All right, guys, have a great Friday evening. We're off to the movies. Yes, we are. Let's go see Suicide Squad. Yes. And some popcorn and a nice seat. so excited. Yeah, me too. Yes. So uh, we'll see you on Sunday for a really fun episode. Have a great evening, everyone. Bye, guys. Bye. I want to take a moment to spank. Spank? <laughs> spank some very special people. <laughs> we want to take a moment to thank some very special people. Absolutely. And that's our Patreons. So the Patreon account is a very separate account from YouTube, mm -hmm. but it allows some very important people the opportunity to get a little bit of a closer look of the studio. And there are certain levels. So at one level, for example, you get to see sneak peeks and behind the scenes videos. Mm -hmm. At another level, you're invited to join us in a WhatsApp group where we chat, we exchange pictures, and you also get weekly painting challenges. In another level, you get um, once a month live streams. At another level, you get once a month tutorials that are live. Yes. And then at our top tier, the diamond level, you would get to pick the colors and the technique for an episode of Massey Art Studios. Mm -hmm. And then you get to keep one of the 11 by 14 inch canvases every single month. So there are some people that we would very much like to thank, and that's our Massey Posse, or yes. the MPs as we like to call them. So at the gold level, we've got Mary Doulas. We've got Amy Gardner, AKA Crafty Chicken Mom. Crafty Chicken Mom. We've got Linda Serian. We have Nate Bright. Gloria Salaki, who we like to call Glitzy. We've got Terry Leshner. We've got Donna Patterson. Stephanie Hancock and Trisha West. Now, at the platinum level, we have Donna Panis, we have Denise and Steve Pittman, and we have Leslie Beaver. And at our diamond level, our one and only, you all know her, you will all love her, we do too, <laughs> and it's Sparkles. Sparkles. Laurie Finzer is our diamond pourer. So to all you guys and everyone else that's listed down below, thank you so very much. 
We really do genuinely appreciate you wanting to be a Patreon and a Massey Pora. And uh, yeah, we look forward to sharing more of this journey with you all. Thank you, guys. Thanks, guys.